So far, what I've learned is how to increase revenue streams and how to maybe uh, maybe start a membership program so that uh, at our cinema back in Estonia we have more uh, we have more resources to invest back into the building and to uh, to help develop uh, our rooms moving for moving past this pandemic. As the cinema in Estonia, Tulagino, which I represent, is very new. It opened in 2019, so everything. I mean, there is a lot of uh, really useful information coming up. It's like very intensive program. And uh, I mean, what is the most important thing for me is the inspiration I get from all the people around me. Like we are more or less uh, working on the same topics. So it's uh, this uh, really nice shared experience. So it's, it's really important to get the um, insight into the other participators, uh, participants' uh, experience in this current situation and in terms of programming and getting back the audience to the cinemas and get a new um, perspective from there because it's in terms of uh, programming and planning the screenings for for the audience in in my country it's it's really easy to follow the same idea all over again and i think now in the changing situation it's really really good to have the other uh, people like from other countries uh, views on the uh, programmings and how the um, cinema should build the new audience for I started work at uh, Cinema Suprus in Tallinn just as the uh, the first wave of the pandemic was ending and we were opening last summer so I really have no experiences <laughs> as to how uh, it should be run uh, outside of a pandemic and what I learned uh, what I what I'm hoping to learn here is how to take the experiences of others and also um, what others have learned in the pandemic and how to take those back home and reopen our reopen our cinema full time successfully and completely as we opened in 2019, we, uh, we started to get very good audience and then in 2020 everything collapsed and we, although we opened every time we could open again with full power, but uh, people are not coming back. So this is the work we have to be doing and this is what I'm learning here as well. I'm a founder of uh, independent cinema in uh, Kosice, Slovakia, which is a second city. And, um, well, the pandemic hit us quite hard because uh, we've been growing because we just opened five years ago and uh, we were like uh, really expanding and uh, so this uh, several months ago we had this uh, pandemic coming in and it was really like uh, pausing all our activities. So I'm not sure uh, how long it takes the recovery um, and what will be the, the actual impact. It's very uh, maybe too early to say, but in the same time it was uh, a really good lesson for us. It was like some, uh, some unaccepted situation which, are, which is always good in the way. So you can be kind of ready, uh, you know, bring your team together, talk about like really crisis management. So uh, we learned a lot from that too. In Poland, um, the audience, the, the number of audience actually dropped down quite uh, heavily dur af like during and, and now after the, these three lockdowns. And um, it's, it's actually difficult to get back the audience to the, to the cinemas uh, because they're um, very aware that about the content, the online content and the programming. Um, so um, so it's, it's, very, it's very important to, uh, to, to for the, the programming ideas and how we uh, communicate with, with, with the audience from before the COVID 
and now the 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 new audience because it's the the online programming is very competitive for us so um yeah but i mean it's hopefully it's going to be better and better Uh, this is my first time at Venice Film Festival. Uh, the impressions are exciting, uh, the city is beautiful and the locations are fantastic. As this is my first time in Venice Festival, uh, I've been there yesterday just to walk around, so I actually don't know yet, so I can give that info later. <laughs> Yeah, I've been to Venice Film Festival before. I really liked it. It's really nice, a uh, lovely festival where you can watch uh, really good films and a uh, lovely atmosphere of the Lido, which is really enjoyable. This year I've, uh, I have uh, watched just one film so far, but I'm, uh, I'm really glad because we have also premiere of a new uh, Slovak uh, film, 107 Mothers, by Peter Kerekesh which is really like uh, something we, we, we've been waiting for also in Slovakia. So I, will, I, I hope I will have a chance to watch the, the festival. I've never been to the, to the Venice Film Festival before, uh, so this is very exciting to be here. Uh, last year we, we went for the um, one screening and I get the overall um, impression is it's, it's really nice to be here and the audience it's very there's like a, the, the the screener the screening was sold out even if this it was only the first day of the festival so and the the the, the film was was really good so it's it's nice to be here again in the huge cinema um, filled with people who really enjoy it and um, have appreciation to for the good cinema <laughs>